Hello everybody, it is Paper Spyro here, back for part number 16, I think it's 16, of Let's Play Sly. And in this part, we're going to be going into Jewel by the Dragon. We might even get up to the part where we get to fight the Panda King. Oh, this one. Yeah, 40 clues, and, uh, spoiler alert, this is one of the ones where Carmelita chases you. Boy. Freeze, raccoon! How can I freeze when my heart warms at the very sight of you? Shut up, Ringtail. I don't know what you're doing here in China, but I'm sure it can't be good for whoever owns this place. You must only have eyes for me if you're too blind to see what's going on around here. All I see is a pathetic thief who's escaped justice for far too long. I'm proud to be a thief, especially when I'm stealing from a vicious extortionist like the Panda King. Open your eyes, detective. These quaint temples are a front for an illegal explosives factory. Don't try to confuse the issue. You criminals are all the same, and none of you can escape justice. Watch me. We okay. So yeah, you don't have to do t too much here. It's not that difficult to avoid her shots, because they actually are pretty slow. As long as you don't get caught on one of these when she shoots. Don't forget this over here. If you don't stay in one place for... If you just keep moving, you know, she's going to have a hard time hitting you. Especially because I'm coming in here with a gold horseshoe. You know, not that much is going to happen to me. Get up there. Well, wait. I can't do anything with this, can I? I guess not. And of course, while trying to do that, to dodge that, I fall off. Oh, I need to hit that rocket. My bad. I should get closer to my television. That might help just a tad so I can actually see what I'm doing. Come on. Alright, there we go. We got that. Now, how do we get up here and get that? I guess we have to... Alright. There we go. Right? There we go. 18 clues. Screw the coins for now. 21 clues. She's making a lot of coins pop up. Coins. Oop. I fell. Because I could not see where I was going. Alright, now we're up to the peaceful section at least a little bit. Get a couple more clues. Or a bunch more clues. You know, just keep moving on this part. Again, this part really isn't that hard. Like, this whole mission really isn't hard. I haven't really tried to hurry it up, like, as much as I usually do. I'm just fine. Launch thingy. She should probably try to aim for where I'm going instead of where I am when she chooses. She actually wants to hit me. Not that I'm complaining, but... Alright, there's something out on the outer ledges of these. I know it somewhere. Uh, well, it's actually the path. Only three more clues, so I think this is it here.
That was cheap. Alright, there we go. Here's the vault. Did I miss all that many clues? What's up here? Alright, more rocket, more rocket. Oh, and she actually got me at the last Watch second. Your back, Cooper. When you least expect it, I'll be there. And there's the key. I don't want to get it just yet because I'm still missing three clues somewhere. This is the last vault in the game, though. Because we only have one more mission left, and it's not one of the ones that. It's a vault. Alright, we're still missing. I'm just going to grab the key and come back. Wait, do I have the blueprints? I do. There's a couple down there. Um. I'll just look after I get back in this level. Key! Wow, they were this early in the level, too. This is right after it starts. Alright. Unfortunately, this vault code appears to have been written in owl dialect. I won't be able to crack the code until we meet and defeat the bird who created it. Oh, I forgot about that entirely. My bad, but either way, now that we found all the... It's only when I'm on camera. It's only when I start talking get distracted. Uh, either way. We have all the clues for the final vault now. We just need to come back after the uh, end of the game. I smell bonus episode. Um, nice movement of the thingy. Anyway, um, what time are we at? We still have time. Uh, we have a one of the shooting missions coming up here. And I fell all the way down. Ah. Uh. Alright, now we get to go into Rapid Fire Assault. Now I like this one, because this one is awesome. And it shouldn't take that long. This vehicle is identical to the one. He just got cut off, so I don't know what he had to say, but he's not going to get to say it. Not gonna say anything at all. All right, so you know this is kind of just as he was beginning to say the one we, just like the one we did in the last chapter. Oh wow, this is my last life. Should we hear him out? This vehicle is identical to the Wow, he doesn't even finish talking. Okay. Alright, back where I was. I don't remember what I was talking about before. And I have a horseshoe because I collected a bunch of coins. I like this. Yeah, I can. Okay. 
Oh no, this is where I was before. Oh well. Come on. Taking forever. All right. Well, I took a hit. Come on. If I can get one of these knocked out, then I'll be good. All right, well, we got all three knocked out at the same time, and then I died. Actually, I got a game over, and I just died. Uh, I'll meet you guys back where I was. All right, back to the three section here. So I'm going to try just kind of, you know, just shooting forward and then just keep strafing to the side. All right, there's two down. That was much faster than the first time. All right. All right, over here this time. And now we're outside. Uh, these things take forever to knock down. I think we've got this here. All right. Sorry, I'm not talking too much. I'm actually trying to concentrate. And I don't have too much to talk about, really. This is kind of repetitive. Alright, we got them out. Is this it? Yeah, this is it. And with that, we have obtained the final key. And, also with that, it's time to take on the Panda King. I don't even care if we're up to 23 minutes and whatever on the recording clock. I'm getting this done this episode, because I'm behind as it is already. Uh, uh, okay. This is getting done in this episode, especially because the Panda King is a pretty easy boss, and now that I said that, I'm going to be screwed. Especially because I said that the Let's Players curse can suck it earlier in this uh, LP. Um, See that ring on the bundle of fireworks? Hook onto it with your cane to hitch a ride. Frame foo. I see you carry cane of notorious Cooper Thief Clan. Have you come here for revenge? To steal back the Thievius Raccoonus. That was my plan at first, 
But now I'm more interested in putting an end to your avalanche extortion racket. Why should you care if I bury a few worthless village in snow? You are a thief, just like me. No, that's only half right. I am a thief from a long line of master thieves. While you, you're just a frustrated firework artist turned homicidal pyromaniac. Insolent child. You shall pay dearly for your disrespect. Still, to honor your Cooper ancestry, I will send you to your doom with the beauty of my new firework technique, Flame Fu. So, for the most part, if you just keep moving from side to side, you'll be able to dodge it. And then if you kind of watch what he'll do, you can just jump for the most part, then I'll just watch it back, and then you just go all over again. I mostly just go to one side, even. So, when he says fiery wheel, you mostly just want to jump. When he does palms of thunder, like he does there, you want to get out of his range, because he kind of brings both of his hands down. You know, the booming chop is just kind of in one location. And as you can see, we're already halfway done this boss battle. This literally is the easiest boss battle of the game. So, you know, just kind of keep moving around when he does the booming chop. And I don't think we've even seen all of his moves yet. I mean, I don't know how long it took me to get to this guy's... Oh, wow, I actually took a hit right before his final hit. I don't know how long it took me to get that guy's secret, but, I mean, if you just, like, do what I do, or at least do what I say to do, uh, you know, it's the easiest battle in the game. Of course, it's Russia. Retrieving the Panda King section of the Thievius Raccoonus gave me a chance to learn about my technically minded ancestor, Otto Van Cooper. Not known for his physical dexterity, Otto relied on vehicles to aid him in his criminal endeavors. Armed with his designs, I was sure Murray would be able to make some cool modifications to the team van. A frustrated Inspector Fox, having missed me coming down the mountain, threw the Panda King in jail, thus putting an end to his avalanche protection services and ensuring the safety of mountain villages throughout China. Wait, whoa, 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 wait. Back up a second. Did you see that newspaper in the corner that says, That's kick-ass in an E-rated game? Really? How'd that slip past? Uh, I don't know, and then <laughs> there's a funny thing. It says, come on already, it can't be that hard to catch him. I thought it was kind of funny, but I just don't know how I missed that in the corner of the newspaper for so long. Because, yes, I'm just realizing that in editing right now. Oh, well, whatever. My gang and I took a little time off and did some shopping in Hong Kong. Thoroughly relaxed, we headed home to plan our next move. And that does it for Fire in the Sky, except for that last vault, which we have to come back to after the last chapter. But we'll get to said last chapter in the next videos. So this has been Paper Spiral, and I'll see you guys later.